What's up guys, it's Chris Heria. Welcome to the vlog. Today I'm gonna to be showing you one small tip that's gonna deliver really big results and can be applied to pretty much all workout routines. And that one tip is combining resistance bands with weights. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you. Especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. And you know exactly what I mean. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I don't trust words, I trust actions. I don't care what you heard, I'm not slacking. My name is Alan Roberts. This is Every Damn Day Fitness. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell over there. Share my video, subscribe to my second channel, Alan Roberts. In my opinion, of course, it's linked above and below at the end. Thank you very much. That was Chris Heria of Official Thenex and of Chris Heria Music and Chris Heria Everything. Um, and for those of you that are new to the channel, I'm gonna do a little recap. You see, last year, about this time, uh, I made a few videos on Mr. Heria because he is an amazing bar athlete. Anything when his hands are, are, are the focus, like if he's doing pull-ups or if he's doing handstands or handstand push-ups or planges, all that stuff, he is absolutely amazing, great athlete. If he's on his feet, he's barely an intermediate. I would still call him almost a beginner from looking at the video we're about to talk about. Um, he is very, he's, he is not an athlete on his feet. He's thin, lean. Um, his nutrition information is what got him, you know, in in, in view with me, uh, because he was doing videos on how to target belly fat and arm fat. There was an arm fat video on the Thenex channel, and, and uh, uh, the belly fat one is hilarious. Uh, and I pretty much said it was a shame that he was giving advice because he has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. Uh, he got really triggered uh, and. Uh, called me an old, bald, fat, salty clout chaser who was, needs to do his workouts because I'm out of shape and blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, when it would come to anything on, on our feet, this kid would be my bitch, 10 out of 10. Uh, and <clears throat> he made a video on his on the the Chris Harry channel, This the video we're talking about here is on Chris Harry channel, pretty much trying to like come back at me and a few other people and uh, Austin Dunham and a few other people. That video you can't find because he pulled that video because uh, basically showed himself to be a fucking idiot again and the his the Thenex fans thousands of them coming over to my channel well you just are jealous of him and blah 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 and you know, you probably can't even do a pistol squat or a, you probably can't blah 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 you can't do this pull-ups but you can't do this you can't do that blah 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 uh, and then this happened And that's when thousands of 13 to 17 year old Chris Harry fans shut the fuck up in unison because they realized that Chris really is just kind of intermediate on his feet. Uh, and I left it alone because very frankly, uh, point proven and you know, saying he's dumb over and over again is not going to make him any smarter and it's not gonna point out any more that he's dumb. We've proven that with Vince from V-Shreds. How you doing Vince? Um, but I saw a video on my buddy uh, James Winker from Shredded Sports Science, and I'm gonna link that above below at the end. Uh, you should go watch that because Chris still has been doing some stupid shit. I don't understand why this young man talks about being, you know, talks about squats under a barbell and deadlifts and shit like that, when he clearly, as you can see here, clearly has no fucking idea what he's talking about. And, and to, to what makes this worse, what makes this really, really, really bad is nobody that watches Chris Harry's channel is advanced enough to really do his workouts, in my opinion. Anybody advanced enough to do his workouts don't need Chris Harry uh, to, to do them. He should not be talking about, uh, you know, he did one on drop set squats where he had people stripping weights off the fucking sides while he was squatting. When this man, this man barely can squat. I mean, his squat form is dangerous for him and he's got an incredibly strong back. Uh, from all the pull-ups and shit like that, but his fans who are going to try to emulate this, I mean, and he even tells them to, it's fucking ridiculous. The, this this is why the fitness industry fails, people, because he's very popular and very stupid at the same time. He really does not know what he's talking about. And Chris, if you want to have a conversation about it, we absolutely can, by the way, because I know you're going to watch this because you get triggered like a motherfucker. But he has, he should not be giving this advice. In this video, he's talking about adding bands to the lifts and shit like that. Um, how about you learn to lift first, Chris? Uh, how about you have your people learn to lift first because you don't know what the fuck you're doing. And if they copy your form on half this shit, they're going to get hurt anyway, get alone adding fucking bands to it. I just, I find the whole video to be, comp it's like they're running out of ideas to make videos on. So he's like, let's add bands to shit. Like, it's obvious he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about with most of this shit. Uh, for instance, he starts his entire workout 
with dumbbell curls. The first muscle group we're gonna work on is gonna be our biceps. We're gonna start off with bicep curls, which I think is the best exercise to show you guys how to combine weights and resistance bands. Let's get started. All right, we're all set up, ready to go. Now after this video, you should really go watch James Laker's video from Shredded Sports Science, like I said, because he does talk about strength curves and all like that, but the shit that Chris obviously just doesn't fucking understand here. But as a newsflash, if you're going to go do some compound movements, starting with biceps is, is, I just, I don't even understand the methodology. He truly, like, this kid doesn't know what he's talking about, in my professional opinion, of course. But as you go on, it gets more fucking ridiculous. All right, so there we have weighted pull-ups that just felt a whole lot harder with the resistance band. And I find the best way to do this is to place a dumbbell right underneath you, tie the resistance band around it, and put it around your neck. From this position, the resistance band should be giving you tension from the bottom straight down, forcing the muscles that are required to perform a pull-up to work twice as hard from the beginning all the way to the end. And He's just talking out of his ass twice as hard. Twice, first of all, he has not given the tension rating on the band. He has not told you how much the dumbbell is on the ground. It looks to be about a 70 pound dumbbell to me, but he just doesn't seem to fucking understand this. Chris, I've told you before, when you talk about weightlifting, with the cue cards that you read, you should have somebody that knows what the fuck they're talking about write those motherfuckers for you because apparently who you got doing it or yourself does not know what the fuck they're talking about. Twice as hard. There's no way to gear that. Absolutely. He, that, that involves the weight of the person that would be doing the pull-up that now has the elastic band around their neck with the vest on and connected to a dumbbell on the floor. I mean, so if Harry weighs, it looks to be a 70 pound dumbbell and a 30 pound vest, so that's a hundred pounds. So if he's pulling with more force than that, that dumbbell would still come off the ground, people. It just would. Uh, if the, if it was twice as hard, if he weighs more than a hundred pounds himself, because 100 plus 100 is 200, if he weighs more than a hundred pounds himself, which he supposedly does, uh, then it, the dumbbell would come off the ground. It's just so fucking stupid. Moving on, we're gonna go into legs with some barbell squats. Let's get it. We're all set. So there we had barbell squats with the resistance bands. Now for this specific exercise, you're gonna feel the maximum resistance from the top of the exercise. And as you begin to descend, you're gonna feel the tension from the resistance band start to slowly reduce as you reach the bottom. But when you start to come back up, you're gonna start to feel the increasing tension build back up, making it a lot more difficult to perform this move and making it harder to finish the rep. Fuck me, that gives me a migraine. Holy fuck. Just a few things for the official Thenex fans. Um, because I don't want you to hurt yourselves. I really, really don't. First of all, put a fucking shirt on after you've done a couple exercises already and your back is gonna be sweaty and shit and you're about to fucking put a uh, load on top of your spine, put a fucking shirt on. Um, if that load slips and you can't hold it up, you're gonna tear your shoulders up at the fucking best, just to be fucking real. That's fucking stupid shit. It really is, that's fucking stupid shit. It really is. I mean, I understand that Haria uh, is literally a fucking nobody besides a kid that can do pull-ups without having his shirt off. I fucking get that, Chris, but don't fucking hurt people. That's what this, you're running the fucking risk of hurting people. The bounce at the fucking bottom like that, like actually fucking showing your fans to bounce like that at the fucking bottom is fucking asinine. Seriously, somewhere v Stretch is going like, God damn, motherfucker, that's horrible. I mean, how you doing that, Vince? How the fuck you been? But I, I don't fucking understand why this boy thinks he knows what the fuck he's talking about. I don't, I, I don't get it. This is dangerous shit. It really, really is. The fucked up thing is, Millions of people could watch that fucking video and be like, yeah, I need to try that shit. That's fucked up. Like that, t We should hold ourselves more accountable as fitness people. This is why people get turned off to fitness. It really is. Stupid shit like that. Stupid shit where they see somebody that they think is really, really popular and knows what the fuck they're doing who has no fucking idea what they're fucking doing at all. Give them instruction on something. They go try it because they want to look just like that person and then they fuck themselves up and then they don't go back to fitness. That's the fucking problem. The problem with the fitness industry is that we are causing people to be unhealthy. We're not helping people. We, and I say we because unfortunately I'm fucking grouped in with you dumbass bitches. 
That is fucking ridiculous. It really, really is. I don't understand why he wouldn't have somebody else in his videos that knows what the fuck they're doing. Thenex should hire a fucking weightlifter. Hire a fucking weightlifter. They got a bunch of... Oh, this is on the Harriet channel. That's right. Fuck. Well, Chris is too much of a fucking egomaniac to let anybody else fucking have the spotlight from what I hear. Um, a few other people have, have said stuff and made videos. But anyway... I don't fucking get why he thinks he knows what the fuck he's talking about. He talks about building muscle all the time. He looks the fucking exact same he has, and he's a young guy for a long fucking time right now. I'm happy he's shredded, and if that's the look you want, that's great. That is way more a matter of your nutrition than it is of, of, of anything else. Just to fucking be real. But let's be fucking real. We need to have a better responsibility about not showing people dangerous, stupid shit. This is dangerous, stupid shit from a kid that just doesn't seem to fucking learn his lesson no matter fucking what. So Chris, just my two cents in the matter, stay in your motherfucking lane and keep hanging from the fucking bar and shut your fucking hole when it comes to other shit. And that's just my two cents in the matter. My name's Alan Roberts. Hit me up on Instagram at Alan Roberts EDDF. Hit me up on Twitter at Everyday Fitness. I'm also on Facebook at Everyday Fitness. And I'm on the internet at EverydayFitness.net. God damn.